Every picture tells a story. From the ordinary to the extraordinary. And when you add up the thousands of photographs Julia Schulman has taken since the 1930s, you get nearly a century-long look at life and culture in Southern California. Julia Schulman um, really documented uh, back in the time what was great about Southern California architecture. And that ranged everything from uh, the custom homes of uh, wealthy people in the Hollywood Hills to the average factory down on the lowlands as well. Uh, so he, his work has a surprising amount of uh, range. And the fact that a lot of it is no longer existing or has been remodeled uh, makes his photo archives an incredible resource for us to understand what Southern California was like uh, you know, 30, 40, 50, 70 years ago. While most famous for his shots of the case study houses found in the hills above Los Angeles, Schulman's work encompassed pictures of architecture from all over the world, each one telling their own story. He's considered one of the great photographers of the 20th century. His work, it transcends architectural photography and enters the realm of art. One of the reasons is that he wasn't trained as a photographer, so he didn't have those rules and expectations of, oh, this is how one takes an architectural photograph. For him, it was about the context, the lifestyle, who used the building, how it was used. Each one is like a little vignette about what this place really is. One of the key elements of the mid-century modernist architecture that Schulman photographed was its asymmetrical design. And here at the Fullerton Museum, they recreated some of the architecture and design that easily could have been one of the subjects in the photographs on display. Well, we didn't want to show the pictures out of context, so we included some modern uh, interior design, little vignettes that we have. It all kinds of ties together, this whole idea of modern design and modern architecture. The pictures on display at the Fullerton Museum are actually on loan from the Getty Center in Los Angeles, who bought Schulman's library of work. A vast collection of images, including those taken later in his life, working with a partner until just this past July, when he passed away at the age of 98. For SoCal's Best, I'm Noah Park.